What's going on everybody? So today I got me the BTS meal. For those of you that are not aware, BTS did a collab uh, with McDonald's. So uh, they released their own meal, I guess. But to be honest, it's the same thing that McDonald's has. There's not much difference to their meal. Uh, it's not a, like an actual food item that you can order that's like special. Uh, it's mostly the sauces. So the talk of the town are these two sauces that come out with the BTS meal now, which is Cajun and sweet chili, as you can see. The sauces are actually, they look kind of cute. Uh, but yeah, so this is the huge difference between like a regular 10 piece nugget meal and the BTS meal. A little description of what the meal is. It's just a 10 piece uh, chicken nugget with uh, medium fries and just a Coke. That's pretty much it. But as I said, the sauces are like the big deal now. And all in all, this cost me about 19 bucks. So per meal, it's about $8, I think, eight to $9, depending on where you are. Um, I thought there would be like a huge line because I don't know if you guys remember like the Szechuan sauce, um, like from Rick and Morty, like a couple of years ago. That one people were going absolutely crazy for, but I mean, no line in McDonald's I went to, no one really cared about the meal. I don't think people are even aware that the meal is out. So let me just go ahead and show you guys the sauce real quick. So this is the sweet chili. It smells very vinegary. And of course, oh, I don't want to spill that. But yeah, it smells pretty good. And this is the Cajun, which uh, from the pictures that I saw, it kind of looks like Chick-fil-A sauce. Let me just go ahead and see real quick. Yep, it's very similar to, to Chick-fil-A sauce. Do a little smell test too. Oh, this one, I think it's, <laughs> it's the same thing as Chick-fil-A sauce. Yeah, this is very mayo-based, I'd say. Um, but I mean, they don't smell bad at all because Chick-fil-A sauce as well is super good, right? At least for me. But yeah, let me just go ahead and real quick open all the sauces. I'm excited to try these new sauces. McDonald's has really good sauces, but they haven't come out with something new for a while. So maybe that's why they wanted to do this collab. So I got me two meals. Um, so we're looking at a total of like 20 nuggets and just two order of medium fries. All right, let me go ahead and just dive in because I'm, as always, starving. I'm gonna start off with a fry, just like an appetizer. As usual, pretty bomb fries, cold, hot, day old, two days old, don't matter. All right, enough teasing. Let me start off with a sweet chili. I'm excited for this one. So y'all can see it's, it's kind of similar to Chick-fil-A sauce. Uh, I think it's called Polynesian or similar to like sweet sriracha as well. All right, going in. I see what they're going for. It's kind of similar to the sweet sriracha from Chick-fil-A. But all in all, pretty solid sauce. I'd say it's like a good eight out of 10. It kind of tastes like sweet and sour, almost, but with a little bit of kick to it. And a little more vinegary, I'd say. Oh no, not bad. Not bad at all. Now let's jump to the Cajun. As I said, very similar to, at least in terms of looks and texture, to the Chick-fil-A sauce. Going in. I gotta be honest, it just tastes like mustard. I know McDonald's has a sauce flavor called hot mustard. Very similar to that. So it's nothing innovative or completely new, like revolutionary, you know? Let's give the Cajun another shot, because I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. Goodbye, y'all. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. It just tastes like honey mustard. Or not honey mustard, hot mustard. I gotta say, the sauces themselves, not really crazy new, you know, like revolutionary, like crazy. But as like sauces themselves, like just standalone, they're pretty solid. I'd say sweet chili, like is a little bit better than the Cajun. Sweet chili, I give it about like, as I said, eight out of 10. Cajun about like seven out of 10, just because it tastes too much like hot mustard. I'm gonna take another bite of sweet chili. Sweet chili is definitely better for me. Neither of them are bad. It's just they're, they're not crazy good. Mm. I forgot I had this. This is authentic like Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm, I'm gonna try to compare it with the Cajun. Cause there's, there's a good amount of overlap I'd say in terms of flavor. All right, take a bite. Let me know what y'all think. Is it similar? It's different. Yeah, that's that's very similar. I gotta say, the Cajun, like from McDonald's, has a little bit more kick. And as I said, it tastes very similar to hot mustard. Whereas the Chick-fil-A sauce is more sweet. Definitely more sweet. Let's go ahead and get a bite of Cajun again. Yep. Definitely more kick. And by kick, I don't really mean... Well, I do mean like spice level. But at the same time, the flavor of the sauce is stronger. It's like more bold. Chick-fil-A sauce, a little more sweet, a little more tame, you know? The sweet chili is getting better and better. I guess also an acquired taste, but I gave it an initial rating of eight out of 10. Maybe that's creeping up a little bit more towards like eight and a half, possibly nine. When I go for fries, one weird thing, I go for like the burnt ones or like the, the ones that look super dry because I feel like they're going to taste less good, taste worse than the other ones that look better. So if you see me like scavenging around for fries, that's what it is. See like these, those are burnt or tad bit burnt. I like to tackle those first. The nuggets themselves, in terms of crispiness and that flavor overall, pretty solid today too. Because McDonald's sometimes they they give you some like old nuggets, like all soggy. You know these sauces keep reminding me of the Rick and Morty sauce, the Zetron sauce. I'm still salty to this day that I wasn't able to actually taste it. I heard a lot of people say like it's not a big deal. But I'm curious, man. Okay, that sweet chili sauce now, solid nine. The more I eat it, just the rating just keeps going up. The Cajun, however, seven out of 10. Final answer. Who do y'all think has the best sauces, like fast food wise? Well, now that I think about it, McDonald's has some pretty bomb sauces, but Chick-fil-A, their, their sauce game's on point too. Let me show you the difference in terms of like consistency and the texture of each sauce. We got Chick-fil-A sauce here, and we got the new Cajun sauce right here. What do you think? What do you think looks better? I would say in terms of color itself, the Cajun sauce, but in terms of taste, I taste still Cajun is a little bit better than Chick-fil-A. 
Actually, I don't know, man. It's tough. It's tough because it's so similar. Yeah, I think they're way too similar to give like an like an accurate answer, you know, like a straightforward answer. Like, oh, this is better than that. I don't know. I don't know. Let me give the sweet chili sauce some love too. It's been sitting here all alone. Yeah, this one you can also see like the spices and whatnot. I gotta say, this is this one's the the way better one. Hmm. That's good. Now that sweet chili sauce, I can hands down say it's better than like Polynesian. It's like a very straightforward answer. I wouldn't say by, by a lot though, but I would give Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A like a, a eight out of 10, which is my initial rating of this sauce of the sweet chili, but it crept up. And I think this one is, is a little bit better now. Or maybe I'm just used to the Polynesian. Cause I go to Chick-fil-A a lot too. Take another bite. Oh no. Mm -hmm. That one hits. Man, that's good. That sweet chili sauce is, it's a whole different league. I think McDonald's said they based both of these sauces from sauces uh, in their like stores in Korea. It's kind of like their own twist and take on it. Well, yeah, the sweet, and the sweet chili, hands down, top tier. That's a lot of sauce. It's like a bowl cut. We call it like two block cut. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to know how many people actually like need a drink during their meal because I grew up eating and then once the meal was over once the meal was done then I would drink whatever I wanted like soda water whatever but I remember a couple of my friends were like in in the middle of the meal they told me like oh my god I'm, I'm dying like give me something to drink and I was like just finish your meal and then I'll get something for you, right? Cause I was lazy, I didn't want to stand up when I was enjoying my meal. And they were like, dude, why do you drink without anything? Or why do you eat without anything to drink? And the whole time, I think for years, I was like, why is it such a big deal to have a drink during the meal? Well, let's do this. Let's get wild. This is real dip city. Oh, actually not bad. Always the last nugget. You got to be very careful what sauces you decide to put this on. But that's the aftertaste you're going to be tasting for a while until you drink something. So I think I'm going to go with half Cajun. Top it off with sweet chili. I don't know why I haven't done this, but let me try the fries with the sauce. Take a bite of that. Let me know if it's good. Oh, it is good. Yeah, that sweet chili just hits different. Also, now that I eat a lot of it, definitely has some, some kick to it that surpasses the Cajun one. But then again, if you think about it, it's sweet spicy. Kind of makes sense. Let me kill these fries with some sweet chili. I go back and forth, Cajun sweet chili. You can't let the sauces know which one's next. Okay, you gotta be unpredictable. You gotta attack them when they least expect it, all right? So like right now, I'm gonna just go for the ketchup and then bam, go for Cajun. They didn't expect it. I feel like it tastes better. Life hack. And bam, ketchup, you know? works for all sauces the least they expected the tastier they are so I think I'm gonna go for Cajun this time yeah for Cajun and then BAM see 
I want a little sweet and spicy. Tastes better. I don't know what I'm saying. There's all the MSG getting to my head. I'm gonna go one fry Cajun, one fry ketchup, last fry spicy. Mm. Mm. That was good. That was actually really good. And they gave me no straw. All right, your boy's all done. All in all, sweet chili, fire, Cajun, I Chick-fil-A sauce, solid always. Ketchup, true companion, loyal. But that was overall tasty though. And hope you guys liked the video. If any of you guys like always keep track of like new foods and whatnot, put it down in the comments because I'm actually curious to know what else comes out in this year and like following year so I can go ahead and maybe um, go ahead and get it for you. That's it for me. Hope you guys have a good day or had a good day. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.